Yo, yo, what's up? I am about to take you guys inside of the Snapchat chat. Double chat. Chatty chat chat. Because it's one of the most elaborate tools in Snapchat and yet one of the most difficult tools to learn. So let's go check it out. If you guys don't know what chat is, look at your screen right now. This bottom left button right here, that blue, that's a chat. And if it's blue, that means you got some messages. And if you didn't have anything, it would be white. Like this is purple over here. This would have no purple on it if you didn't have any updated stories. But of course, there's always going to be something. Anyway, let's get in the chat right now. So you swipe right, blat out. <clears throat> now let's go over the layout right now. This is the chat screen. Everybody knows the chat screen is. Everybody knows that the blue chat, well, you might not know. So let me tell you. The blue box, the red box, and the purple box. The blue box means someone sent you a chat message. The red box means someone sent you a picture. The purple box means someone sent you a video. Now, if I scroll down here, I will see arrows. These arrows going out mean that I have sent messages. These arrows going out mean that I have sent messages to those people. If they're filled, that person has not checked that message. That's a chat message. If it's open or if it's empty like this one you see from my own name personally that means that that message has been checked if the same thing with picture and video if I send a picture to someone it'll be red if I send a video it'll be purple if it's filled they haven't checked it if it's not filled they have checked it that's how snapchat keeps you in the loop with other people now once you go in this once you go into chat with someone you can swipe right and it'll open the chat and I sent myself this chat, so <clears throat> um, that's why I'm in here talking to myself. But on the chat, what happens is, is if somebody's typing in this area right here, you know, they're about to send something, blah, blah, blah. Snapchat sends you a message that says, hey, this person is typing. Why do they send you that message? Because they want you to be able to go in here and be able to use all these tools that you can see right above my keyboard. So it says send chat. Below that, there's the picture. There's the phone, there's the circle to go into Snapchat to take a picture, there's the video, and there's this, the smiley face for the stickers. So let's talk, let's, let's go in outside order. So first, if I were to click this, it'll show me all the pictures that I have saved or videos that I have saved in my camera roll. If I wanted to send those to someone, I could click them and they would add to this, to the chat just like this, uh, this emoji picture right here. Next, stickers. Let's go to the far right stickers these obviously you guys know them. you put a sticker in once you touch a sticker it sends it automatically that's it it's very easy you send a sticker you touch on a sticker it sends it bam 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 okay don't want to spam myself but um hold up do we get stuck here dang <laughs> okay okay it was like bro why do you got to send yourself this many freaking messages anyway um, if you saw what I was doing right there, I'm waiting for it to load up, but Snapchat, you know, Snapchat's not perfect. Snapchat is by far not perfect, but it sent these two. And if you see they're in the gray box and if I unselect it, it's not. What you do is you can save chat messages. If somebody sends you a message and you want to remember what you were talking about, you can save the chat message just by long pressing that sticker, that picture, that line of text, you know, everything that was sent and one message you'll be able to save it so that way you don't get lost and forget about what you're trying to do so next button is <clears throat> let's go to the phone which is this is the picture button to the right of that is the phone obviously calling on snapchat uses on mobile Wi-Fi you can make phone calls in snapchat chat okay why you want to do that I don't know maybe you maybe you don't have that person's number you don't want to give them your number but you still want to talk to them have a conversation with them you know something kind of like how Skype does with phone calls <clears throat> next is the video button which is to the left of the picture button uh, to the sticker button so sticker button bam picture right video right here you can video call someone in snapchat which is the reason why they notify you when someone's typing because you can actually video chat with someone not just a video call but a video chat that's if you tap the button and then there's the middle button obviously which is the button to get to the normal snapchat take a picture and do your thing now 
we're gonna go back. We're back in Snap, and I wanna I wanna make two things known. Number one is <clears throat> I only tapped each of the buttons. I only tap the phone. I only tap the video call. This is very important because you can actually send a audio message and a video message by holding them. And you'll see right here. I'm gonna do it with the phone. So the phone. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold it. Yeah. Okay, because I'm using the audio, <clears throat> it doesn't want to allow me to use that audio to record audio. So, when you hold the telephone, you can send audio to uh, another person. And it can be as long as you want it to be. You can ramble on as long as you're holding the button. You keep talking and you keep talking and you keep talking. Now, if you don't like that, you'll see while you're holding the button, there will be an X to the right. And you can just swipe it over to that X, drop it, it cancels that whole audio message but if you let go you send it same thing with the video message except the video message does a little circle the video message does a circle and it only lasts for 10 seconds and it will look like if it wants me to do it no uh, maybe hold up we might oh snapchat you killed me in the middle of my video too <clears throat> anyway let's get back into snapchat and see what's going on it's works really really funny with trying to screen record and trying to um use the camera at the same time it's cameras taken away it doesn't usually freeze up but it's hard to show you guys a tutorial using the tools that i'm actually using let's see i'm gonna try it one more time and see what happens so here it goes so this circle comes up <clears throat> and you guys can see me recording and, and talking to myself and as long as that circle's going and recording it's going to go and send so i let go Plain is simple, and it's going to add it to this message, and it's going to it's going to play a little screenshot, a little snippet of me, but you can't hear any sound until you click it. So try these tools out, y'all. <clears throat> these tools are here; they're fun things. I send a lot of audio messages because sometimes I just got too much to say, and I ain't trying to text all day, you know, writing people novels in here and whatnot. So um, you know, try the little voice thing right here. These save. So <clears throat> it sends it, it's there forever. They'll always see it, they'll be able to hear it. Let's see if we can listen to it right now. No, they're like, no, no, bro. You're you're literally in here right now. We don't want to listen. And anyway, <clears throat> that is Snapchat chat for you. All right. If y'all got any questions about Snapchat chat, leave them in the comment section, please. And if you're not subscribed, come on, hook your boy up. Hook your boy up. All right, cool. Uh, have a good day, y'all. And trust and believe, there will be more uh, Snapchat updates. And I'll be letting you guys know what the deal is every single time they come out. Later.